everybody it's ivy here today i'm going to be doing a highly requested video y'all ask me all the time how do i get my wigs this beautiful jet black color without staining my lace honestly y'all it's so easy when y'all see this you're gonna be like wow that's super easy now i will say it takes some patience but it is super easy to get your wig jet black without ruining the lace. And let me tell you, like, if you're a person that like jet black hair better, it just takes it up a notch. It makes your wig look more rich, more natural. And uh, while we edit, y'all, let me show y'all the scalp itch. Okay? So, this is scalp. Um, No color got on my lace, okay? out baby this was so easy and i love this method now i don't know if anybody else does this method so i'm not even gonna claim it y'all tripping about my fake ball cap so i don't know if anybody else does this method but if you guys watch somebody that do this method i'm gonna show you definitely link them below i want to check out their videos so let's get right into it okay so the beautiful wig i use today is from Perella Perella hair now i've never worked with them before so this is my first time and i was really excited to try one of their units this is one of their um lace frontal units and i think this was the hd lace i'm pretty sure it's hd lace because this just lays it lays too good so when i took the wig out the pack it was beautiful it was a gorgeous wig but i did want to make this wig jet black the first thing i do is bleach my knots i like to bleach my knots first i like to bleach my knots first because i use them kind of as a guide to how far to put color on the hair i'll explain that later so i go in i bleach my knots first right so what you guys need to make sure you have for this process is a messed up mannequin head i got a mannequin head over there that i only use for color like i only use it for color this is what you're going to want to use or either put a plastic cap or something on your mannequin head if you don't want to mess it up because you probably gonna mess it up okay and i do use a wig stand to do this process because without it i don't even like my wig stand is like oh god it helps save my life so much so if you don't have a wig stand and a mannequin head, this might be a little hard for you. I'm going to link um, mine below, the ones that I use, okay? So I like to turn my wig inside out, okay? So when I turn my wig inside out, what I like to do is spray it with one coat of got to be hairspray, okay? I let that air dry and then I take this um, hair protectant. You can get this at your local beauty supply store. They got it in clear and I got it in brown. And what this is, it's like a, um, a gel and you paint that on your hair and this is supposed to protect your hair from um, hair glue, right? So then I like to use that hair protectant and I only paint a layer of that around, like about an inch around the hairline. I don't take it all the way back because there's no need to do that. You're gonna like over, you're gonna put so many products in your wig and it's gonna make it gunky. So I only like to use about an inch from the hairline inch back and I paint that on the wig now what this is going to be is an extra protection barrier okay this barrier literally helps protect your lace and your knots so after you're done painting that on you want to use your hair dryer and you want to dry this completely I'm not going to stress that enough dry it completely dry it completely once it's done drying I want you to turn your wig back over okay and then you're gonna take a, a fine comb and just comb the hair around the hairline and just make sure everything is nice and smooth and make sure nothing is like gunked up and stuck in the hair protectant. So once that's done, you wanna go ahead and separate off the frontal area of your wig. Just go ahead and pin that to the front and then get ready to work on the back, okay? The hair color that I like using for my wigs is the Revlon Color Silk because it's cheap and it works like it gets your hair so black like i use blue black today and this hair is jet jet black and i love it my natural hair is super black so i like my weave to follow suit okay so what i did was go ahead and paint the color all over the back of the hair and i didn't put this in any sections i just literally squirted it on there and use my fingers to rake the color through like that's literally all i did 
um rake it through rake it through rake it through until it was nice and saturated i used um one bottle of color on the back portion of the hair now this hair was um i believe it was 24 or 26 inches and this wig um it's a nice density it's not super overly thick it's just a nice full density and i only use two boxes of color to complete the entire head and I actually had color left over. Once I was done doing the back, I am gonna show you guys how to color this front tool without messing up the lace. So what you wanna do is part off a small section and we're gonna apply the hair color to the shaft of the hair. I like to run that down the hair and then I like to apply a little bit of color, use my coloring brush and just smooth that on the roots of the hair. Okay, you don't want to take the color all the way up to the root because then it's going to get on your knots and mess up your knots, all that type of stuff. So you want to keep it a little bit away from the root, but not too far, but just a little bit away. You guys will see exactly what I'm doing in the video. And you just want to continue to repeat this process until you complete your whole frontal. But I like this method more. Even though it takes more time, I feel like your color comes out just looking so rich and you guys, it looks amazing. Once I was done um, applying my color, this is how it looks, you guys. Like, literally, just take your time, part off small sections. It really doesn't take that long. It took me, like, 15 minutes to do the entire frontal. I just play some music and vibe out and color my hair. And I let this process for about 15 minutes, and then I wash and condition the hair. And this is how it came out. As you guys can see, it's flawless period it ain't no black on lace like everything is perfect the knots ain't black everything is yes how it should be so you definitely don't have to bleach your knots after you do your color i guess that's a preference for some people but i like to bleach before so i could really see what i'm doing and where to place the color this is how the wig ended up looking i did um pluck it just a little bit their wigs do come pre-plugged so you don't really have to pluck them i just plucked it because i don't know y'all i got like a little forehead and my stuff had to be plucked good or it's really gonna look wiggy and um the quality of the hair is very very nice y'all i'm not getting no tangles it's just nice and smooth like nice and smooth and i really love it so i'm excited to show you guys how i went ahead and installed it so let's get right to that so i am done coloring my wig and this is the end results this is how the hair looks after it's been um washed and air dry so it does still have like this like loose slight type of wave to it as you guys can see I did pluck, I did go in and pluck it just a little bit around the edges. But as you guys can see, my lace is not stained. It's not messed up whatsoever. I really like this um, method. Now, I don't know if anybody else has done it before, but this is how I do it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, adjust my wig. So this is how it looks once I adjust my wig to my liking. I like my wig to fit nice and snug, so I put it on the last latch. 
and I am going to cut off this lace right here. I am going to be using my liquid gold today. I'm not going to be uh, gluing this down with any glue. And I swear, you guys, my head has swelled. <laughs> or I don't know what's going on, but my head, child, all my wigs feel tight. <laughs> but okay, you guys, my wig is on, and it is a perfect fit. I just had to play with it a little bit just to get it um, lined up. I'm really loving this lace tint. I feel like it tints the lace to the perfect color. It's not too light or too dark. You guys, I'm really loving this wig. Oh my God, I love it so much. I like the lace. I like how it lays. The wig is perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm gonna cut a little bit more to lace right here. Just like a little bit. I don't think I'm gonna put no part in this wig. I want it just to stay nice and flawless, straight, silky, like, yes. So I'm gonna be securing my wig with the Boho Liquid Gold, okay? Getting into it. I'm gonna roll that back and then I'm just gonna take a little bit like right on the top section. I don't want too much, cause I don't need like a super crazy hold. I just need a little hold, just, just a little bit. But like today and tomorrow. Okay. So that's how that looks. Just let your wig roll on top of it. A little bit more right here. And be sure to pay attention to how much you're using. You don't want to use too much. This stuff literally melts your wig. Like, that's melted. Melted. Okay, let's do the other side. Remember, don't use too much. That's enough. And spread it. Lay it down. Well, I wasn't gonna do no baby hairs, y'all, but I can't help it. I can't help it, y'all. I can't help it. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit, baby hair. I promise I ain't gonna do a lot. Okay, y'all, so I did a little different baby hairstyle. I'm just gonna go in with my flat iron and stick it out a little bit more, but like I told y'all, that liquid gold um, definitely works as a good like alternative um, for glue, like if you just want like a nice little simple hold. Okay, you guys, so my unit is installed, and y'all, I love this wig a lot. It fits very well, it feels good. Um, the knot's perfect, like, y'all, that's perfect, right? Let me show you again. Perfect scalp, jet black scalp, like, it's giving scalp. And I am getting some shedding. Um, I don't know if that's just like from the initial install or it's just some hair, some hair shedding out of the wig. But I am getting some shedding, but the hair is so nice and soft. It's no tangles. So now I'm gonna take my hot comb from EAP, EAP Heat. I love using this to just like press my wig in the front, make sure everything nice and flat. And I'm gonna spray my Fantasia Liquid Mousse Spritz. I love this, like, this is the best. So I'm just gonna put a little bit around the edges, not too much. And then we're just going to um smooth it back hot Whew. this thing get hot y'all this is the hottest 
the, the most hottest flat hot comb I've ever used. Um, it goes up to 430 degrees. It might go to 450, but I have mine on 430. Okay, y'all, now I have my um, Red by Kiss Silicone Style. I've been using this, y'all, I don't even know how many years. <laughs> Hella years, since like 2013. I love it. It gets my extensions just so straight. It gets my real hair straight. Like, this flat iron is everything. It works so fast. So, so fast. I'm just giving it giving it a general flat iron, y'all. Um, the hair is already pretty silky. So you don't need to do too much. You can even just leave it in its wavy state. You don't have to um, flat iron it. I'm just gonna bump that under. It just really um, completes your look when everything is nice and even. The lace, the lace looks so good and the hair is nice and soft. It got silky straight. I did cut it a little bit because I wanted um, fuller ends. I just I love it, you guys. And once again, if you're interested in this wig, I will have it linked below. Let me know in the comment section what y'all think about this hair. Let me know what y'all think about my um, coloring method. I really can't wait to see you guys feedback. Thanks again for watching. Please don't forget to thumb this up. Make sure you subscribe, comment below, and click that bell icon so you're notified every time I post a video. And I will talk to you guys in the next one.